Fresh off its breakup with OpenAI, Figure is showcasing its self-developed AI model that the Silicon Valley startup says paves the way for its autonomous humanoids to enter homes at scale. Also, a Chinese city is transforming itself into a robot-run metropolis with help from DeepSeek and Engine AI. When figure founder Brett Adcock announced his decision to end the robotics firm's partnership with OpenAI, he said it was because their capabilities couldn't provide the intelligence needed to deploy AI robots at scale. Two weeks later, figure just released details on what it calls a breakthrough for embodied intelligence called Helix. Figure says the development means its robots can reason like humans. The unveiling comes as Figure is reportedly in advanced discussions to raise $1.5 billion in Series C funding, which would value the company at nearly $40 billion. If accurate, the amount is a 1,400% increase from its 2024 valuation of $2.6 billion. According to Figure, Helix is a vision language action model tailored for humanoid robotics control. Okay, I'd like to try something new. Even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene and then work together to put them away. Does that sound good? The startup calls it the first VLA model to enable high rate control of the entire upper body, including wrists, fingers, torso, and head. With less than 500 hours of training, robots powered by Helix can pick up virtually any object by voice command. Figure says the model is also the first of its kind to run on two robots simultaneously. In a demo video, Two figure two humanoid robots are shown collaborating as they put away groceries. Natural language prompts drive the actions. While employing two high tech robots to slowly put away groceries is overkill, Figure says its breakthrough will accelerate their development so they can become useful in household settings. The company eventually plans to offer its humanoids to the consumer market. Since Helix runs on one neural network for all behaviors, there's no need for task-specific fine-tuning. It runs entirely on embedded low-power GPUs, making it more feasible for real-world applications. Figure says the technology is essential to bring AI-powered humanoid robots into homes. Unlike industrial settings, where Figure 2 robots are currently training extensively, Households are full of unpredictable and diverse objects. On the X social media platform, Adcock said 2025 will be a pivotal year for Figure as it ships more robots and tackles home applications. Figure proposes that combining intelligence from collected robot behavior with the Helix model will trigger exponential growth. They provided this graph to illustrate, though it was criticized by some as being based on vibes rather than actual metrics. Sunnyvale-based Figure is developing its next-generation robot, presumably called the Figure 3, that's optimized for manufacturing at scale. Adcock recently said Figure has signed on its second commercial customer without naming the company. He said he sees a path for shipping up to 100,000 humanoid robots over the next four years. Figure is seen as perhaps the biggest threat to Tesla, which plans to produce up to 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots this year. While Tesla's production target is much larger than Figure's, Elon Musk has admitted it's highly aspirational. Figure and Tesla face stiffening competition with Google investing heavily in Apptronic and tech giants like Apple, OpenAI, and Meta reportedly planning to enter the market. Meanwhile, in China, AI-powered humanoids are taking over Shenzhen as the city transforms into a robot-run metropolis. Videos circulating on social media show next-generation AI robots assisting throughout the community. The Global Times calls it intelligent grassroots governance. According to the state-run Chinese tabloid, the city has also deployed 70 digital employees powered by DeepSeek to assist with routine municipal duties. 
The AI agents can perform complex tasks, make decisions, and interact with humans. The paper reports that the AI agents have fixed mistakes in government documents with 95% accuracy. They're also speeding up paperwork processing, reducing turnaround time from five days to minutes. Public service requests are also handled more efficiently with reported accuracy improvements of 25% from 70 to 95%. For physical tasks, humanoid robots are now actively being used in the Nanshan and Fushan districts for grid-based community work and law enforcement. Video clips show robots from Shenzhen-based Engine AI robotics technology company undergoing regular training, assisting police officers on the streets, and interacting with the public. The startup's PM1 humanoid robot is shown here traversing through Nantu Ancient City, a historic site in Shenzhen that dates back to the Eastern Jin Dynasty. The video apparently released by Engine AI also shows the robot touring talent park in the Nashan district and a high-end commercial complex called Shenzhen Bay Mix C that features luxury shopping, fine dining, and high-end residences. The PM1 robots also assisted during the spring festival holidays, accompanying police officers as they patrolled the streets. It's part of an experimental project merging artificial intelligence and law enforcement, reminiscent of Robocop. The PM1 robot, introduced in December 2024, is a lightweight humanoid intended for research and development applications. The startup touts the robot's customizability and its relatively low starting price of $13,000. According to Engine AI, the PM1 features advanced visual perception capabilities thanks to its Intel RealSense depth camera. Its aluminum alloy exoskeleton features an interactive core screen. It's powered by a dual-chip architecture, equipped with Intel N97 and NVIDIA Jetson Orin processors. Standing 1.38 meters, the PM1 is 27 centimeters shorter than the startup's flagship humanoid, the SE1. It weighs 40 kilos, which is 8 less than the full-sized humanoid robot. The PM1 humanoids have 24 degrees of freedom, with 12 degrees of freedom in their joint motors allowing for smooth and dynamic movements. They walk at a pace of up to 2 meters per second, or about 4.5 miles per hour. The PM1 is carving its lane with other short Chinese humanoids like the Unitree G1 and the T1 by Booster Robotics. Its pricing is notable for undercutting Unitree G1's $16,000 entry point. Like Unitree, Engine AI trains its robots using reinforcement learning in NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. They receive feedback from the simulation and, over time, figure out how to adapt and become more human-like. With this approach, a robot doesn't need to physically exist yet to start training. Once a robot's digital twin finishes training, the learning is transferred to the real robot via a process called sim to real short for simulation to reality. Engine AI also recently updated its website to promote its upcoming S2 model, which the startup calls an original IP service robot. The design was briefly showcased in an early Engine AI hype video from 2024. Another Chinese robotics startup, Booster Robotics, is gaining a reputation for the way it thrashes on its pint-sized humanoid robots. For more on that, check the related video.